Okay, so you can do it again. All right. Just noticing first how you're breathing. Yeah. And perhaps bring your other leg down so it's a bit flatter. And perhaps if you straighten your bottom up a little bit, and you bring that round. So what doesn't it want to touch? Underwear knee. This is making my foot go stupid. So that touch against your knee. It's hurting up here when it touches that. Mm. Yeah. So it's like the nerves through there are short circuiting, and when there's that touch happening, it's short circuiting through the system. and giving you that um, those sharp jobs. So just spend a moment noticing your breathing. Notice your arms, the position they're in, and letting your arms relax. And just focusing on your breathing for a minute. Can I put my hand on your tummy? What's the name? Noticing as you're breathing in and out. And no. just focusing on your outbreak. So there's nerves that are giving those feelings of powerfully talking at the moment. If you tighten the muscle in the thigh and then let it go again, does that increase that feeling or is it a different feeling? This little guy is running around joint to joint, muscle to muscle, and I relax. One runs over to the other one and turns it up. And then when I relax, he runs over to another one and turns it up. And it's just moving And it's a coping. To, are you coping okay with this? What happens if you go to straighten your knee a little bit? Just keeping your knee on there, but just straightening your knee, locking it up straight. And then letting it go. And just softly straightening your knee. Oh, move back, what if I say move back, but it hurts. Now, notice how when you're trying to tighten your thigh muscle, how you're you're changing your breathing and you're bringing a lot of a lot of extra work in through your breathing muscles. So keep the breathing happening softly. Maybe if I put my hand there again. You keep the breathing soft. Keep that gentle. Keep that focus on maintaining a gentle, soft breathing. So now when you tighten your thigh muscle, maybe if you just lift your heel up a tiny bit, that's it, and then relax it again. So that you're getting the muscle to work a little bit in the thigh. But when bringing the breathing in, we're keeping the breathing relaxed. So that way we're trying to short circuit this all the spasm and all the extra activity in the nervous system. We're trying to focus on something that's relaxed and cyclical, like the breathing. And some little movements that we can do in the leg to get the nervous system doing, focusing in on things that are calm and repetitive in a way that might help it focus back down into what, what you need it to do. how I look. I'll show you how well I can walk my leg.